What do you need, buddy? Hi, bud. I want to know, first of all, do you believe in the Trinity? Why are you asking me that? What do you want? Get to the point before I send you packing. Okay, who is the only true God according to Jesus? John 17, 3. The father of Jesus, who's Muhammad's destroyer, is the father, the father of Muhammad. In John 17, 3, who's the only true God? The father, right? Yes. So I want you to say, I want them to see you. You're a Muhammadan? Is that who you are? I you am. Alhamdulillah, yes. I want you to say, all ham to Muhammad, say, Muhammad is the son of Allah. Allah is his father. That's a red herring. What, what are you talking about? No, it about? isn't, because in John 17, who's the only true God? The father of Jesus, right? Read John 17, verses 1 to 3. Read, now, it this is read verses one or three before I send you to Mecca. Lick it. Who is the only true God? The See, Father. Do you know when you, you, know you resort to insults? It just shows. You want me to quote the hadith to bury prophet? Come on, come, come, the question, come, come on. Is the Father the only true God? Yes or no? Yes. Is the Father the Father Muhammad? Is Muhammad the Son of Allah? Why are you going on tangents? I've asked because you the question. You just said the only true God is the Father. It's right there. Okay, now you're running your mouth. Hello? Let's see how well you, where you're going to do. You got your Quran Bible open? Uh, no, I actually came here to ask you a yeah, question. Do you have the Quran Bible open? In comment section. Do you have the Quran Bible open? Because you're live now. Now you're talking tough. Let's see how tough you are. You have your Quran uh, Bible. I'm actually not talking tough. You started. Uh, do you have me the Quran after Bible I asked open? You one question. Do you have the Quran Bible open? Can you stop talking through me? I'm. I'm do you have the Quran Bible? Because I'm going to talk about your prophet insulting people if you don't stop. Abdul Shaitan, do you have the Quran Bible open so I can answer your question? I know you're scared. Do you have can the I, Quran Bible? Can I ask a question? Do you Just have the Quran Bible so you can ask the see, question and I answer? Your question is irrelevant, really. No, see, because you're illiterate like your prophet. I said I'll answer, but do yeah. you have the Quran okay. and Bible so I can answer? Okay. I'll open it wait yeah see that's what i'm uh, saying i know you're literally like your prophet it's okay we're going to humiliate him glory to jesus but go ahead so what's your question as you, the quran what's your question the as you open the bible then you're going to get your quran ready let me go to uh let, let me actually go to the uh bible uh verse that i quoted earlier in my yeah, please get, get ready because i'm going to use that to bury your prophet but go ahead uh which is very irrelevant but okay yeah, no, very question, irrelevant. yeah don't pretend to be intelligent yes, you're not it's smarter irrelevant. than your prophet yeah, get to the passage the i'm already there okay read it I'm going to ask a question now, yeah? Ask and get to the passage. Dude, do I have to say it okay. five more times? The question is, the question is, if according to the Trinity, mm -hmm. Jesus isn't the Father, yeah. then how come he is God? If according to John 17, 3, actually yeah. 1, uh, 2, 3, yeah. Jesus is calling the Father the only true God. Okay, now you ready for the answer? You ready for the yeah, answer? Start at verse 1. Go to John 17, read verses 1 and 2. Because Father, I'm going to use this to bear your prophet in hell. Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that your Son may glorify you. For you granted him authority over all people, that he might give eternal life to all those you have given him. Hmm. Now, now this is eternal oh, life. Okay. Finish you want me to continue? No, no, finish three because I'm going to ask you questions to answer your question. Read. Go ahead, finish three. Okay. Well, I hope you're going to finish. Okay. Yeah, okay. Now, this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Okay, okay now read ahead. verse two again for me. <clears throat> for you granted him authority over all people that he might uh, give eternal life to all those you have given him. Okay, now, who besides God in the Old Testament Quran gives eternal life to all believers forever? Not aware. Say it again. I'm not aware. So you don't know in the Old Testament or in your Quran someone besides Allah that gives eternal life? Uh, no, I'm not aware. Go ahead. You don't? Okay. So let me rephrase just, it. Just tell me. Yeah, just well, ask I'm, question. That's all I'm, I'm answering you if you be patient. So let me rephrase yeah, it. Ahead, Can someone other than Allah give eternal life to everyone? Uh, no. Okay. Now, verse 1, read that again for me. Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son that your son may glorify you. Now, can you show me in your Quran or in the Old Testament a prophet or an angel like Jibreel saying, Allah, glorify me so that I can glorify you? Is that relevant? Yes, because that's the context, verse 3, which you didn't read. Can you show me that? Ask me again. Okay. Can you show me in your Quran... Or Old yeah. Testament, where a prophet or an angel like Gabriel says, Allah, glorify me that I may glorify you. Uh, no, you go ahead and do that if you want to. No, I'm saying, can I'm you just... show me? It, can it happen if Tawheed is true? Um, I don't I don't have to answer that for you to make your argument. Yes, just, you do have to answer it because question. you're not going to tap them. So you're I embarrassing yourself. 
Guys, this is the slave of Satan. He can't answer. Can the Trinity be true? Yes, it can yes be no? true. Can you... Yes, it can. Okay, and I'm answering you. Them. I am explaining by your failure to You're answer, not. which you're embarrassing your prophet, that filthy son of it's the devil. A, now, no, no. can you show me in the Old Testament? Argument. Can you show me in the Old Testament and the Quran? Someone saying to Allah, like your filthy prophet saying, glorify me that I may glorify you. Yes or no? Once again, I don't have to. You make your argument. Go to verse five now. Go to verse five. Because you, you're embarrassing yourself. This is the slave of Satan, by the way, guys. This is Islam. Go to verse and 5. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. Now, can you show me any prophet that's a creature and your fake prophet saying he shared glory with Allah before the world was created? Can I, okay, can I answer that can question? You, can question you show me or no? Can I ask? Can no, hold on, but can you show me? Well? You can answer you want because I'll bury you. Don't worry about it. Can you show me? Um, can I answer your question with another question just like you? Okay, can me? you show me where a prophet, your fake prophet, says, Allah, glorify me with the glory I had with you before the world was? Whether I can show that or not is not relevant. Do you want me to hang up if is... you're going to keep answering this way and embarrass you? Can you, yes no, or no? Can you show me? I don't have to answer yes or no. Okay, bye-bye. How do I turn this against the Muhammadan? If it's a Muhammadan, I'll say number one. Who is the only true God according to Jesus Christ? If they know the context, they'll say the Father. So right away, John 17, 3 shows Muhammad is a son of Satan because the only true God is the Father. In the Quran, Muhammad's God, Allah, is not a father to anyone. He is not a father to the Jews and Christians, and Jesus isn't his son. He's not the father of Jesus. So if what Jesus said is true, the only true God is the Father, in fact, the Father who glorifies him as his son, then Allah of the Quran is a false God and Muhammad is a son of Satan. All glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, John 17, verse 1. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify your son, thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee. The second question which you heard me ask the stone licker, which you couldn't answer. What creature could say, glorify me so I can glorify you? Glorify me in the way that I glorify you. Can a creature speak like that? Jesus says to the Father, glorify your son so that the son, your son may glorify you. So Jesus claims to be the unique son of the Father, whom the Father glorifies in the same way the son glorifies the Father. What creature speaks that way? See why I kept asking him that question? Now he says to the Father, as thou has given him power over all flesh, authority. You have appointed your son to have authority over all flesh, all flesh subject, sub, subject to the son, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou has given him. Now, the Father has given his son authority over all flesh, so that all flesh is subject to the son. Can I ask you guys a question? Is Muhammad flesh? If Jesus has authority, power over all flesh, doesn't this prove that Jesus has authority, power over Muhammad? Doesn't that prove that Jesus has power, authority over all Muslims? Anything that's flesh is under the control of the Son. The Son has power over it. He's sovereign over it. All flesh belongs to him, is subject to him. That includes all Muslim flesh. Muhammad himself who's flesh, all flesh belongs to Jesus. All flesh is subject to Jesus. Muhammad whose flesh is beneath the feet of Jesus.